G'day aspiring engineers. You know, this year, 2026, Autodesk Fusion is still pretty much the same piece of software that it was last year. And so click by click tutorials are probably still the best way for you to learn. For myself, I found artificial intelligence very helpful in learning what I want to know. And so I'm going to start to share some of those things that I've learned with AI. And at the end of this video, we'll do something there. Now, have a look at my 16 basic tutorials in Fusion 360. I've put the link in the description down below, and that's like a free course, and it'll take you roughly 20 hours to complete that and work through all 16 of those tutorials. That'll get you up and running making parts, simple, blocky, prismatic parts, which are very useful for 3D printing. And I do explain all this in the first of the 16 basic tutorials. You'll hear me say that you should be able to complete that 16 tutorials in about 20 hours. And it's good to spread those 20 hours over a couple of weeks so that you get lots to practice regularly over some time. Um, and that's what's going to help to make it stick. Regular practice of what you're learning. Now you'll find that as you work through the 16, you'll be repeating the simple operations with each tutorial and learning a little bit more with each new one each time. I've taught thousands of people to use 3D computer aided design and I know how to learn it and how to teach it so that you get up and running and don't forget faster than you learned. It's a common problem isn't it? Now there's a controversy about whether it's time to boycott uh, Autodesk Fusion uh, now that Autodesk is walking back on and backing away from its promise to support hobbyists and maintain an ongoing free version of Fusion. Now they of course would protest that you can still maintain an ongoing free license of Fusion and that's true uh, and that's why I'm still able to continue teaching it and uh, still able to teach it in the personal use version and you can renew that license year after year. But the truth is that they make it so hard to get through that one month free trial and then make the step to the ongoing personal use license that really, practically speaking, it's pretty much impossible for an ordinary person to access it without a lot of help. And fortunately, uh, myself and others on the internet are able to help you with that. After you've finished the 16 basic tutorials in a playlist, most people don't realize that I've made a whole lot more tutorials to keep you going from there on. You can do the bodies and components playlist and after that it would be good to do the top down and bottom up assembly playlist and I've got a playlist there for each of those. Click through to my channel and have a look. Now when you've done the bodies and components playlist and you've understood them, consider yourself to be an intermediate user. And then you're ready to go on and learn assembly modeling. And there's two kinds, bottom up and top down. You should understand the difference, but I won't go into that here. Now, just to help you to have realistic expectations, you can do good, useful work after just the 16 basic tutorials, like 3D printed parts. But there's a whole lot more that you can learn. For example, if you're a radio control airplane hobbyist, then you've got a lot more to learn about airfoil shapes and assembling many parts. If you're a woodworker with a CNC router or a laser cutter, you've got a lot to learn about tool paths and similar topics. Fusion is a fantastic tool, but it takes a while to be able to use it for more complex hobby projects. Now let's talk about these more complex projects and how to progress from a basic level to some of those projects. Really, you're gonna to need to find a lot more click-by-click -click tutorials in addition to what I've taught you in the 16 basic tutorials while you attempt to do your own projects. Now, can you see that there's a potential for a lot of frustration here at this stage? But let me encourage you, eventually you'll be able to fly solo, as it were. And it's a, it's a fantastic feeling to get over that hump and eventually complete a project. You'll try, you might fail, do some more tutorials, try again. Maybe you'll get a little bit further next time, but you see how it goes. You've got to keep persevering and you'll get there eventually. Um, this is when you're doing things that are 
particularly your own hobby. So look for the tutorials on the parts of fusion that you're interested in. And uh, one thing I do in my newsletter is I recommend lots of other YouTubers who are doing really good work and making lots of good tutorials here on YouTube. I know there's a wide range of hobbies in the audience out there. And I've surveyed the people who subscribe to my newsletter. And a lot of you have a 3D printer at home. And you're mostly into some other hobby as well as that. According to the surveys that I did, uh, the hobbies out there break down into three groups like this. So the most popular ones are a group of about five. And so I've got those listed here in no particular order. Uh, and they are woodworking, 3D printing. And as I said before, that's usually where you've got another hobby as well as a 3D printer at home. Uh, then the third one is metal machining, do-it-yourself projects and radio controlled models. And of course, radio controlled models includes airplanes, cars, boats, and whatever you can control with a radio. Okay, the next category is uh, sort of medium popularity, and uh, they're model trains, bicycles, electronics, and CNC. Uh, so CNC, I'm not including CNC metal machining centers because it's fairly specialized and it's a little bit more than a hobby. Uh, and then the, the last category is those rare and fascinating hobbies. And there were typically only one or two people that mentioned these, but I'll just mention these to you because these are some of the things that people are using Fusion for. Luthery, uh, classic car restoration, Internet of Things, mechanical clocks, set design, astrophotography, and jukebox restoration. Uh, and of course, that's not all of them. There were actually, when I, when I surveyed the, uh, the subscribers to my newsletter, there was a list of about 60. Uh, so it's an amazing array of hobbies that you're using Fusion for. And that gives you an idea of how versatile and how interesting Fusion is and what a, what a fabulous tool it is. My own hobby is making pottery. Uh, and I'm finding that a lot of you like to watch my speed builds when I'm making something in Fusion related to my own hobby, like a kiln or a pottery wheel or whatever. And I'll do more of that, and I hope it encourages you to use Fusion for your own hobby. Okay, so I said I'd show you a neat trick with artificial intelligence. This is ChatGPT. You probably heard of that one, but this will work just as well with Perplexity, Google Gemini, Claude, or whatever it is that you might like to use. Have you ever had writer's block or even designer's block when you sit down in front of Fusion, staring at a blank screen? Well, this could help you. Notice that prompt. I did this as if I was a radio controlled modeler. And just in case you can't read what I'm typing down there for a prompt, it's brainstorm inventions for radio controlled model airplanes, which can be 3D printed list 15 ideas for me and hey look at that 15 ideas not bad if you're scratching for ideas well yeah you're not going to be getting excited about all 15 but maybe there's three or four in that list that could be interesting so here's another prompt and you type this one in for each one that might be interesting give me some general ideas about designing and i've put in number five a crash resistant nose cone for radio controlled model aeroplanes. Um, and, and you would do this again for each one that you're interested in. Uh, you'll see whether or not this is useful for you, but I've usually found this is quite helpful. Now, you can get this prompt. I'll make this available for you for free. Uh, if you subscribe to my weekly newsletter, the link is in below. Uh, you can sign up and uh, There'll be a link there and I'll, I'll point you to uh, where you can get that prompt for free. And there'll be lots more prompts like this going forward. Now, I used to also sell lots of ebooks and courses, uh, and I'm changing all of that. Uh, I don't think there's any future for, for courses. Ebooks maybe, but not courses anymore. So I'm just making them all available for anyone who's on the, the $9 tier of, as, as a Patreon supporter. That's nine dollars a month support. Um, you can have all of my ebooks, all of my courses, all of that stuff, just for being a, a supporter on Patreon. 
Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.